Okay, so it's New Year's Eve and we're driving in the car. And can I ever be on time to anything? No. Look at the time. Somebody just got pulled over. Where? Back there. Anyway, you can see it in the. Anyway, though, um, so it's 11:47, and the the um, you know, like New Year's countdown is like in 13 minutes, and I'm in the car. Like seriously, this is pitiful. Okay, so so many cars keep getting pulled over. This is like really scary because I don't want to get pulled over, and I'm. But I do not want to spend New Year's like counting down in the car driving. This is not cool. I need to be at the party. So me and my friend Sydney, we are in the car driving a party. Okay, so we're leaving the party and it is 1:18. Like we literally were there for like an hour, and it was so crowded. There were so many people, and. My friend is like so hungry, so where are we going? <laughs> okay, so we're in the car, we're going to McDonald's, and then we're gonna go to the club with, um, I don't know, some people. But, yeah. I can't believe it, guys. Happy New Year. I'm about to turn left. I'm about to turn left. Okay, so let me go ahead and get in the left lane. Oh my god, you got behind shit. My manager, Eric. I think y'all seen him before in some of my videos. He was there, and I was like, oh my god, like, I miss him so much because I haven't, like, done any work with him lately. And, I don't know, I saw a lot of people. Obviously, Jack Weiss. Oh, there's a police up there. There's a police behind me, and I didn't even notice. Oh my god. <laughs> So I'll try. To, wait, I was supposed to turn left the next turn. It's okay, you missed okay. it. Okay. We're gonna turn left at the next. I'm on 34, but I'm not recording myself. We're at McDonald's. And no, I was telling you a story, you weren't listening. I was being serious. And we're waiting to get our food. Well, she's getting food, and I'm thirsty, so I'm getting a Sprite. And then after this, we're going to the club. Ratchet Club. Oh my god. There's. Point the light that way so they can see the eyelash. No. There's a, there's an eyelash curler right there. Okay, so I just woke up and it's like almost three or four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm so tired. I probably would have still been sleeping, but Ashlyn's dad called me and woke me up. Okay, so um. We didn't get home till like 6 o'clock in the morning and I seriously went to bed straight when I got home. I was so tired and now it's the new year. It's 2013. Like it's actually like January. I wanted to show you guys my eye makeup. I mean it's not going to look, you know, as good as yesterday because um, I already slept and it's been on my face for a long time but it's just like I used the Urban Decay turquoises and blues from the um the new vice palette and then the old the book of shadows or whatever and you can't really see it in the lighting but it's like i don't know it's like different colors but anyways i want to show you guys that my hair looks ratchet Oh, my song.
I don't think I should be smoking hookah after being sick. Drink. This shit. Drink. How do you do the hose? <laughs> My tip is broken. Look. It has a hole in it. So it's messed up. <laughs> okay, so we're at Waffle House right now, and there's some drunk people in here, and um, there's this big sign on the wall that says, over there, profanity of any type will not be tolerated at any time. It says that basically bad words and language is not tolerated at any time, but these people are drunk as <laughs> behind me and they're screaming and they're acting so ratchet and they're like grown men. It's embarrassing. Oh yeah, they're crazy. Two times. Oh my god. They're crazier than my fingernails. <laughs> left Waffle House and oh my god that was so crazy so ratchet some stuff I've never seen before happen in Waffle House like you know when people eat you're supposed to be civilized like you eat your meal you pay you leave okay these people were so ratchet as y'all could see in the background they were screaming they were like saying nachos and blah blah, blah a Rocco song and the lady she called me a b-word and I was like Excuse me? And she was like, did you say something? And I said, yeah, don't call me a B. Um, what did I say? I can't remember. Anyway, I told her not to call me a B. And she was like, she was like, well, you know what? I don't care. And I said, go home. <laughs> and it was so crazy. And, oh, my God. She literally took Emily's phone and she threw it on the ground. And it was just like, it was crazy. Like, I don't even know what to say. Do you have anything to say, Emily? Okay, so when all that was happening, I I really had no no comment. I was just staring like, is this bitch for real? Oh, <laughs> is this girl for real? Like, we... First of all, she threw my phone on the ground. That's my property, and she touched it. That's a, that's a problem. Oh, and then the guy we were with, she was like, oh, you put your hands on me, you put your hands on me. And he did it. He was getting my phone back. It's not like he hit her, like he was just getting my phone. And she just, I don't even know. I don't, I honestly don't understand really what people think. But anyways, there was two other ladies in there too, and she... I don't know if it was her or was it the other what, the other lady. Whatever. They went they got ghetto on the other girl too, but it was loud in there, so I guess that's why we didn't notice. I don't know. Why don't we notice? Well I didn't notice because I wasn't facing them at all. I mean I <laughs> he said your phone okay? <laughs> but I just I didn't even know what to do. 
Like, I've never been in that situation where I had some crazy lady yelling. And, the, like, the guy she was with, she was seriously, like, two inches from his face. Like, I don't know how I would react if some person got that close to my face yelling. Especially, like, that ratchet. Like, I was just, like, is this really happening? And then he was on the phone, and he wasn't even acknowledging she was that close to him.